Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the React Redux Toolkit with Firebase. So today we are going to learn how to edit the lead using the React Redux Toolkit Firebase. So let's see how we are going to implement it. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel. And if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. So let's get started. So here we can see that we have the edit one. So we have a test. I will put test one two, test one two and save the changes. Okay, so here we have the this one. Let's go to the leads, lead list, edit. So test uh, um, data. So here I'm going to add test data, test data, right? Save the changes. With no input. Save changes. So test queue, test queue. Go to the card fire pay store. Test IQ. Test. Okay. So you can see that, right? So let's see how we are going to edit part. Okay. So let's see how it is implemented. So we have edit lead .js. Okay. So we have this edit. So you can see that we have all the labels of that one. Okay, so you can see that values are coming. We are fetching in first of edit. In the edit, we have to fetch the values, right? So let's see, we have to, so we have the validations part again, so which is the previous one again. So we have the edit lead, we have the params that we have to use params, dispatch, use dispatch, navigate, okay, errors, set errors, values. By default, it is empty, right? So we are using the use effect, okay? Firebase, file store, collection, lead data, doc, params.it, okay? Because we need to send the params because without edit, edit means like uh, you need to pass some ID to get the response. So function is Firebase, file store, collection, which collection name, doc, params.id, get. This will help to get the response and you are going to set all the values in the response data. Whatever the data you are getting on the response, you are going to the set to the values. And you can see that the set values we have defined the use state, right? So lead name, lead contact and all will set into that one, right? So it will go with the set values, right? And this is the param side until it is resolved, it runs at a one at a time, right? So all the values are set in the into your set values. Now we are going to get all the values and show into the updated lead part, right? So here you can see that we have a um, values. Okay, so we have the set values. All the values are in the set values, right? So you can see that the values are set here. Now we have to get the values. So you will use the values, right? So here I'm just values dot lead name, values dot contact, values dot everything. Okay after the handle change right we are doing the handle change right i mean when i used to type anything okay then again it will reset again set the value with the current name current target name current target value it will save that one right after this let me um, word wrap this first okay whatever values we have if we have cloned the previous values then we will replace with the new one right on the handle change then we have the submit button. So here we have the submit button, right? So this is the submit even provide, right? I think there is another one button also. So here we go with this one, update lead, right? So update lead, set values, lead name empty, this one. After that, then we will start with the lead validation values, okay? If the validation is error, then dispatch edit lead ID, okay? So if you have a params.id, then values, params.id we have already getting in, right? So you can see that params.id. You can see params, use params, right? Use params is basically navigating a React router DOM, right? So use params. So uh, because you can see that here in the uh, lead management part. So if I click on this edit button, okay? So there is the params, right? This is the param part, right? So we are getting this one, params.id. By default, it is ID, right? After this, okay, so we are sending the ID, lead name, that is all the values are set into the values and navigate to the lead list. So dispatch, edit lead. It will help you to update the data, right? Edit lead, right? 
so here we have edit lead so you need to pass the full payload what we have but here we have a document we are going to update and the function is update action dot payload okay so here we have a doc action dot payload dot id on behalf of which we have to update it and update all the data so this action dot payload right after <coughs> this it will update the data whatever you are going to send with this function okay so i think i haven't missed anything so everything i have explained to update the lead into the file store right so this is how we are going to update the this section in the using the redux toolkit firebase so any query any doubt in that just let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day any query please let me know